Mario, what were the factors that contributed to you guys getting back to being what you want to be defensively? Um, we were able to go out and stop the run. We were able to get pressure on the quarterback, able to take the ball away. Those are things you got to be able to do to be successful, and we were able to do that. Stopping the run, something you guys have done extremely well for the last few years. I mean, was that just a matter of, you know, I guess, uh, was it a physical thing more than a mental thing to be able to get back to that? Um, probably a little combination of both. Um, it wasn't anything unique. Um, that 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 is who we are, and and you know that's that's the standard. So it has to be at that level or or better. And um, it was uh, good to to put that on display. Mario, were you guys ready for that big punt? It seemed like you guys had a lot of the defensive guys on the field for that play. Um, yeah, most of the stuff that happens when we have success just goes into our preparation. We're trying to be prepared as for any and every type of situation that you could be put in. Coaches do a good job of making sure that, that we have that ahead of time. Um, and then it just comes down to playing fast and playing physical, and, and we were able to do it on that one. But you, you guys figured that was coming, and maybe there was a chance that play was coming on that? Yeah, we, we had talked about it. And um, the formation um, kind of showed that they weren't you know, in a, in a, in a normal uh, punting set. Um, so you always have to be aware. Um, and they probably would have checked out of it, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. Um, we uh, had a personnel on third down that was uh, prepared to stop the short yardage play. And so we were trying to figure out which guy was back. And I think they thought that we didn't know what they were doing because we were still trying to get lined up. Mm -hmm. But we could see where they were, and then we just had phenomenal, phenomenal speed and violence on the left side. Uh, I think it was Chris who made a great play, so it was good. And uh, when when a young guy like a lot that comes in and plays with as much confidence as he does, they're not really kind of welcome, no matter who is again uh, you know, opposite him. Um, I mean, what does that what does that do for a young player? That's phenomenal. Um, that is the standard for that position. Um, that's the type of games that we need to have. And um, man, for a guy like him to just go out there and play like he did, uh, you know, put it on display why why the Saints took him so high and the type of player he is, just a ton of energy and a ton of effort. Um, he's a, a young kid that that clearly, uh, or a young guy that clearly cares about about the game. You know, um, in the amount of time he's putting in the classroom, in the film room, um, just a, a, a real football guy. And it's, it's good when you see guys like that have success. So uh, it was great to have him play like that, that game, and we need more of that. I know you guys are probably tired of talking about mobile quarterbacks every week. <laughs> but Lamar coming in might be the most mobile guy in the league. Um, what obstacles, problems will he present? He presents every type of challenge that you can imagine. Um, smart, savvy, uh, creative, can extend plays, um, dynamic throwing ability, um, excellent leadership, and you know uh, the way he runs the ball is just an extra quality of all the many great things that he do. Um, has been one of the top players in our league for a long time, dominant player. Um, and so you definitely have to be pre prepared in every different way that, that, that he can hurt you. Yes, actually, you know, I should keep Kyler pretty thought up in terms of running a couple of weeks back. Did, did you guys find something there? That Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the Ravens are the Ravens. Yeah. It don't matter what you did with other teams when it comes to stopping. This unit and a player like that, you gotta you gotta be dialed in, and um, you know it's gonna be a great challenge for us. But I like our guys, man. Uh, when we're playing fast and physical, you know we can run with anybody. So, yeah. And uh, I mean, we kind of touched on this briefly, but like when you're stopping the run the way the way you all did yesterday, does that just really open up everything else that y'all want to do? I mean, that's been so foundational for your success these last couple of years. 
Just yeah. Um, and what, what we did last game wasn't anything great. That's, that's, that's our standard. Yeah. It literally has to be at that level or better um, because that's foundational to who we are. Um, you know, stopping the run, getting out to the quarterback, and uh, finding a way to take the ball away. We have to do those things for our team to be um, where we want to go. So for us to get to where we go, want to go, it has to be at that level or higher. How important was it to get the shutout, to, to finish it that way, with the shutout? I don't know. Um, we just played good football, and so that's what we got to play. And um, it was cool to have, but that's our standard. That's our standard. You know, so it's we on the Baltimore. Like, that game's happened. Wiped it. We, we on the Baltimore, and we're locking in because what we win these games is in our work. And um, it's – that's the level we have to be at all the time. To feel like you're back at that standard, to see it, because you knew you were capable of it, but to finally see it in action? Um, the standard never changes. Um, I think it's a measuring point to know if you're on track or if you're not on track. And the great thing was we were able to look at it and say we weren't on track. And um, we were able to move back towards the right direction. Job still not finished. You know, we still got so much to improve on, and that's what we are this week. It's still stuff out there that we left on the table that we got to find a way to correct immediately um, to get to where we're trying to go. And it was good because that was on par with who we are and what we're capable of doing. Um, but there's still more out there, and we got to get it. How good was it to see Peyton Turner and uh, get some run yesterday and put some versatility bring? Phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, he's such an explosive player, such a strong presence in the run game and the pass game. To be that, to be that big and, and have so much quickness, um, that's a rare trait. And definitely glad he's on our side. He had a big game. We need more of, out of him down the stretch. Davis kids going out for trick or treating today? Nah, we ain't doing we ain't doing no trick or treating, but we're gonna have some fun around the crib. All right. Appreciate y'all. Okay, thanks.